all right guys welcome back to another episode of devon's beekeeping so today we're gonna be doing um sugar feeding today and i'm gonna take you through the process of how i do a one-to-one -one sugar mix and tie it up in the bag and ship it out to the boxes as well but just wanted to show you something as well so you can see the kind of weather that we've been dealing with these past few weeks so i don't know if you guys can see it but this is the weather that we've been dealing with for the past few weeks it has been raining almost every day and for beekeepers that is a good thing as well because you know that there's a bloom pretty much waiting to happen and we're pretty much here waiting for the ackies to start bloom which as you can see here they are um shooting up a lot of new trees and everything like that new leaves which should start to bloom soon but the thing about this is is that with too much rain there isn't much nectar coming in at all so you have to feed during these times as well and with wet feeding as well you don't want to introduce too much moisture um, into the box so i'm stuck between two parts whether or not i'm gonna do in a wet feed today or a dry feed today which is pretty much adding sugar to a container and put it into the box and have it um and have it wet a little bit and the bees will go in and when they need the moisture they'll go in and add the moisture to it as needed um so I, I'm, I'm not really even sure how i want to proceed in doing the sugar feeding today i may just do the one-to-one -one mix and give it to them um but i'm looking at the weather and see how it's how it's gonna work out so all right so come on let's get the episode started so I'm doing a one-to-one -one sugar feed, which means same amount of part water is the um, same part sugar. And I'm feeding approximately 13 hives today, so I'm going to be doing 26 pounds. So um, each colony will probably get, uh, will get two pounds per feed. Um, so how I do that? I'm going to be filling this container here. Alright, so after I do that now, I'm going to wait just to have an idea of how much it, it is. I'm getting 19.4, so I'll just dump that in. And then I'll do another weighing. Alright, so doing the next weighing, and I got 10.2. So that at 29.6, I'm gonna work with that. Uh. All right, so we're gonna feed 29.6, which was one and a half bucket of this. So we're gonna mix in the same amount of water and then we'll put that together for the bees as a one-to-one -one feed. Alright, so once I do the appropriate water to sugar me ratio, I'm going to be stirring it to dissolve it. And I'm just using my hands. The more efficient way would to be to warm the water. But I don't have enough time for that because I'm trying to beat the rain. So I'm just using my hands and dissolving, I'm agitating the water, allowing it to dissolve. Okay, so after I finish mixing out the solution, I'm gonna be dropping a few drops of um, lemongrass oil. These are essential oils and um, really helps to stimulate the bees so just doing a few drops in there 
and then I'll just mix that into the solution and then we will go in on to actually feeding the bees all right so for those of you who are new to the channel and are new to beekeeping for feeding farmers normally feed bees during times of um, dirt where there's a shortage in nectar flow um, we also will feel pollen too if there's a pollen a shortage in pollen flow for the bees and we also feed not only to maintain but we also feed to stimulate growth in the queen so they can put out more eggs to grow so this is pretty much the aim of my um, feeding today because with all the rain that is happening there isn't enough um, nectar coming in and for the new and younger colonies I'm trying to stimulate growth in them too so that's my aim for feeding that is why we would we feed so all right so I'm gonna now go ahead and bag up everything so I can start putting out it to the colonies alrighty so after I have um, mixed out the sugar then I'm just pretty much putting it into some plastic bags that you can see here and then also these are for the nukes and if you look it's just a regular um, bottle that has a hole in the top and the cover of the nukes have um, a hole there as well so um, put it in it and then it creates a vacuum and the bees will come up and suck out the honey so now I'm just gonna get the feed into the colonies okay so for feeding the colony now so for feeding the colony now all I do is take off the top once I take off the top I get them a little smoke just to drive whoever is at the top down into the box give them a little smoke to keep them down and then from there you just rest it down in there and the bees will do the rest they'll go in and they'll take out all of the sugar put it in the frames and then be done from there close it up and that's it for them for the nook it's a little bit more for the nook so for the nook it's a little bit easier there's a hole in the cover there and I just turn over that and um, turn it down into it and that's it the bees will come up and suck out the sugar out of it as well so for this one same thing Take off the cover Then I'll just give this to them. Cover them up. And then we're on to the next one.
and as you can see guys the apron is fed and everyone is carrying on with um what they should do all right guys so that's it for my little sugar feeding today and um thanks for watching and um what i'm trying to do now is just build up these colonies to get them ready for the 2021 season and um i'm just gonna be doing these feeding to allow them to bring out the brood and build up the nests um in preparation for the honey flow and um again if you like the, con the content or you have any suggestion just leave it in the comment box and um thanks again for watching Ray,